So you had some interesting comments uh, today here at the BitCon uh, about what's happening in China. Of course, we know about the crackdown on initial coin offerings and also the crackdown on uh, exchanges. Um, now you're saying some CEOs of Chinese Bitcoin companies can't travel. Right. What are you hearing on the ground uh, about the state of disruption right now? Within China, everything is extremely uncertain. Any officer of any a cryptocurrency exchange in China may not leave. Okay, they're not being arrested at the airport, but they've been told privately that they should stay in Beijing. The rest of the world is in chaos, of course, because no one, no one knows what's coming next. I mean, are they going to ban mining? That would be extremely disruptive uh, to the, to the uh, Chinese economy and to the world. A lot of the Bitcoin mines globally are in China. Well, the largest is in China. Okay. It's owned by, by Ji Hong Lu. You know, uh, tens of thousands of machines mining 24 hours a day. Uh, and those coins are staying in China. So uh, I do not think that will happen. And, and I truly believe that the Chinese government is a very rational government and in the long run uh, will come back and, and legalize ICOs with certain uh, legislative restraints uh, that will legalize exchanges again with, with controls. Because what's happened, people have taken advantage of China. Uh, people would come over and do ICOs in China promising a thousand percent return in a week, okay? Oh, please, you can't do that. Uh, and, and so it was making everybody look bad. So I think in the long run, it's very good for the cryptocurrency community. But do you think there will be too much regulation? Are more governments going to over-regulate and crack down? Because you've heard all the arguments, there's no intrinsic of value, of course, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, well, of course they will. But th this will be a seesaw effect. Because when legislation is enacted, People will, will get around it. This, we're talking about a decentralized world, a decentralized process where peer-to-peer -peer activity is common. You cannot legislate that. Well, you can, but then how are you going to enforce it? You'd have to have an enforcer in everybody's home. Well, we can't do that. So, so yes, they will enact legislation. People will get around it. More legislation will be enacted. People will get around it. But in the end, Governments will lose because the power of this technology supersedes and is way above the power of centralized government. Now, I know you're on record as saying you expect significantly higher prices. We saw this dip after the China crackdown, right. but it's already coming back. It's already come back to 4,000. Okay, it was at 4,000, and it was not just China, it, it was uh, Jamie Demon of uh, JP Morgan. Well, he who called said it, it's it a, a fraud. fraud. Right? Well, I went on right after him and said, please, sir, wake up. Which is the fraud? Because it cost me, it cost my company over $1,000 to create a Bitcoin. What does it cost to create a $100 bill? Please, the Europe now is going to be 20000 Do you see Hong Kong playing a significant role now that China is not necessarily uh, playing in the game at this point? Hong Kong, a lot of cryptocurrency companies have started up here. Well, here's the problem with Hong Kong. It is still legally part of China, all right? And while China has had difficulty integrating it, if they choose, they could step here and, and collect me and everybody here. So I think Hong Kong, too close to China, you know, I think in Switzerland, India, uh, the Philippines, you know, reasonable places. Um, the world is a large place. In the United States, copyright law allows for the fair use of copyrighted material under certain limited circumstances without the prior permission from the owner. Under the law, determinations of fair use take into account the purpose of the use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and substantiality of the work used in relation to the work as a whole, and the effect of the use upon the potential market for the copyrighted work. Other jurisdictions may have similar copyright provisions protecting fair use or fair dealing. If you are uncertain as to whether a specific use qualifies as a fair use, you should consult a qualified copyright attorney. You have the right to take it down.